Good evening, everyone. They're hoping to begin the grim search tomorrow. Officials in Sitka tell us tonight that improving weather conditions that are expected to arrive tomorrow might let them start searching for the bodies of three men who are missing and presumed dead after a series of landslides that hit that area a day and a half ago. 61-year-old William Stortz and 26-year-old Elmer Diaz and his brother, 25-year-old Ulysses, are unaccounted for tonight. Channel 2's Caslin Hatch is in Sitka and explains why residents are still optimistic that their loved ones might still be alive. As you can see behind me, Kramer Avenue is still closed. That's because right up the hill and around the corner is a massive landslide that has taken out the entire block. It has also taken several structures with it. Now, since the landslide was first reported on Tuesday morning, three men have been missing. Officials presume that all three are dead. It's just very, very sobering, very, very impactful to see um, um, the magnitude of what took place. Governor Bill Walker toured the damage here in Sitka on Wednesday. He is currently in the process of declaring a state of emergency for the area. On Tuesday, six landslides were triggered in the southeast community due to heavy rainfall. In the area of Kramer Avenue off of Halibut Point Road, one of those slides swallowed the road, several structures, and three men. Sitka is a tight-knit community. Everyone knows everyone here, and no one is giving up hope that one of those missing may still be alive. We can only hope that they're in like a pocket of air or something, which I think they are. Geologists have been on the mountain all day Wednesday trying to determine if it is safe enough for search crews to continue looking for the missing men. Reporting in Sitka, I'm Kaslin Hatch, Channel 2 News. And as Kaslin mentioned, Governor Bill Walker toured the affected area today that uh, were affected by those landslides. Walker flew on a Coast Guard helicopter to assess the damage from the air and figure out how the state can help. In a series of tweets, he shared images of the destruction, including a before and after picture of the road. He also thanked emergency responders for their efforts and said he met with people in the area to find out more about their needs. And the Red Cross of Sitka has set up a shelter for victims of the landslides. The temporary location is at Grace Harbor Church on Halibut Point Road. Anyone looking for shelter should call the Sitka Fire Department first. That number is 747-3233.